This is a tale of two very different cities, two remarkable men, and two similar but different inventions that could revolutionise car engines. What has the French Riviera got in common with Melbourne? They both host Grand Prix, of course, but they also both have companies developing a new kind of engine that runs on pure air. Now, power tools, of course, have run on air power for decades, but no one's been able to turn that technology to cars. Well, there's a French company here in Nice that's done it. Maybe the air car revolution is about to happen. The cost of feeding the average family's car with fuel is about $60 per week and rising. For a hybrid, the average is about half that. But imagine this, a whole week of driving for only a few dollars. Welcome to the place that could make it all happen. This is the factory of MDI, Motor Development International. It's run by inventor Guy Negro. 15 years ago, this French engineer was designing state-of-the-art Formula One engines. Today, he's leading the race to design the world's first commercial air-driven car. His factory is experimenting with vans, taxis and people movers that could one day go non-stop for an incredible 4,500 kilometres on just one tank of fuel. Guy Negra has been working on this air car for 10 years. These are just some of the prototypes. I want to say air, it runs on compressed air, of course. The compressed air pushes the pistons in the engine up and down rather than tiny explosions of petrol, like in a conventional engine. But doing that with air is a real challenge. But the reward is you end up with a car whose only emission from the exhaust pipe is clean, breathable air. Of course, the real ingenuity is under here, the engine. Now, it's a four-cylinder piston engine, just like a regular car, but there are significant differences. For a start, that engine weighs less than half of a regular engine. That's because a lot of the components are made of aluminium. Now, the reason they can do that is because there's no combustion. This is driven by air pressure. In fact, you can hold your hand on that engine when it's running and it would just feel warm. So it's well below the melting temperature of aluminium, which means that something like 80% of this engine is made from that lightweight material. So instead of those tiny hot explosions of petrol and oxygen pushing the pistons up and down, like in a normal internal combustion engine, the air engine has compressed air doing the job instead. This is what the air car looks like underneath the seats. There are three compressed air cylinders, cutaway models of them here. Now, the pressure in these things is 300 bar. That's 150 times the pressure you'd pump your car tyres to. So very high pressure environment. And that's why they're made of carbon fibre. If they made these of metal, if you had a car accident, they could explode and send shrapnel everywhere. Whereas the carbon fibre just splits. Now, the chassis itself is made of aluminium. The key to an air car is to keep everything lightweight so you get the best possible mileage. OK, let's give it a go. Clutch out. Hey, it's working. Push button gears for now, but the final version will be automatic. Now, keep in mind this is just a prototype, so it feels and drives pretty much like a normal car. Now, when they finally go to market with these cars, they say they'll have a top speed of about 110 kilometres an hour, and you should get about 200 kilometres out of the tanks in the back before you have to refill, which, given it's for city driving, it's pretty good, I'd say. could be refilled from a compressed air service station in just three minutes. Or plug it into a power point at home and the onboard compressor will do the job in four hours for about $2 worth of electricity. For country driving, they plan to use a hybrid engine, so there'll be petrol or even some biofuel that will help the air, so they should get a much faster car and also one that'll get a lot further. The hybrid engine would use a small amount of petrol to compress air as you go. And on just one tank of petrol, you could get from Brisbane to Perth or from Los Angeles to New York. How's that for fuel economy? MDI plan to have their first cars on sale in Europe by next year. Engines will be available in two, four and six cylinders, with car prices starting from less than $15,000.
Later in the show, the Melbourne, Australia part of the story. The backyard inventor with his own air engine, and it's a little beauty.